Welcome to my channel. This video is about differentiating plane figures from solid figures. Now I want you to name the figure that I'm going to show. You can pause the video if you need more time to think about it. Okay, let's start. What do you call this? What figure is this? This is a sphere. How about this one? This is a cylinder. And this one is a cube. How about this? That's a pyramid. And this one, simply a square. This one is a rectangle. And a circle. And we have triangle. Okay. Now, we are going to differentiate solid figures from plane figures. Now, on the left sides here, these are what we call solid figures. And on the right side, they are called plane figures. Okay, now let's define what uh, do we mean by solid figures and what do we mean by plane figures. Okay, so now plane figure is a flat, closed figure that has no thickness. Okay, they are flat. Look at that. And they don't have thickness. They are what we call two-dimensional shape. It can be enclosed by a straight lines, curved lines, or both. Okay, it means two-dimensional. They have length and they have width. So they have length, they have width, or what we call the height here also. We have the length and the width. Same thing here. The length, this one, or the width, this, this can be the width also, or this can be the length, but they are two-dimensional. Okay, now, other examples of plane figures are the different kinds of polygons. So I have here, what do you call this one? How many sides this one? One, two, three, four, five. So that is a pentagon. This one, that is a quadrilateral or specifically we called it trapezoid. This is a rhombus. And this one is a decagon. Why? It has 10 sides, decagon. And we have here hexagon, six sides. One, two, three three, four, five, six. This one also is a, a hexagon because one, two, three, four, five, six sides also. So they are called plane figures because they have, they are flat, closed figures that has no thickness. Okay, now what about solid figures? Solid figures are three-dimensional figures. They have length, width, and height. Okay, so let's check. Now here, they have the length, the width, and the height. Can you see the difference? Okay, so this one, that's the sphere, cone, cylinder. We have the rectangular prism here. We have the cube, and we have the pyramid. I have a video about uh, the description about these figures, each one of them. You can watch it here. This time, we are just focused on differentiating what uh, do we mean by solid figures and plain figures. Now, here are other examples of pyramids. So this one, this kind of pyramid, it has a square base and it is called a square pyramid, which is also a solid figures, by the way. And then a triangular pyramid here. And then rectangular pyramid because the base here is a rectangle. That's how they named the 
pyramid based on the base. And this one is octagonal pyramid. If you want to learn more about this kind or the characteristic or description of each, I have a video on this. You can watch it here. Visualizing and describing solid figures. Okay, now, solid figures also are classified as polyhedron and non-polyhedron. So now I am going to uh, state the definition or the, I'll give the meaning of polyhedron and non-polyhedron. Then you are going to identify which uh, set here or which figures here are polyhedron or non-polyhedron. So here, polyhedron are solid figures with flat or plain faces, straight edges, and vertices. Okay, so which figures here has flat or plain faces, straight edges, and vertices? Now, for non-polyhedron are solid figures that have sides or faces that are not polygons. Okay, so this one, these are classified as polyhedron because they have flat faces here, flat uh, polygon. While this one are non-polyhedron, so their faces are not polygons, not square, not triangle, not rectangle, not octagon, something like that. Okay. Now, I want you to identify if it is solid or plain uh, figure. Now, if it is a solid figure, if it's just a model, can you name the kind of uh, solid figure? Let's say ice cream cone. Of course, it's a cone and that is solid. Okay, something like that. So, you can pause if you need more time. How about this one? This is an example of, this is a solid and rectangular prism, like, right? A box. How about this one? A book that is also a rectangular prism, and that is solid. Triangle, that's plain. A ball, that is a solid figure, and that is a model of sphere. A circle is a plane figure. Trapezoid is also a plane figure. Pyramid, that is a solid figure. And ice cube, of course, it's a solid figure, and that is cube. That's all for this video, and thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my videos, and like if you like it. Bye!